Sniper Elite V2 is the sequel to the original Sniper Elite, which we made uh, a few years back and was really well received and we're very proud of the, uh, the title. Uh, and in Sniper Elite V2, you play an allied sniper who's sent into Berlin at the end of the Second World War as the Red Army is closing in. And your mission is to assassinate five V2 rocket scientists uh, before they fall into Russian hands. And as you uh, go about your grim task, um, you find out that one of the scientists actually wants to defect to the Allies, and so uh, part of your mission is to try and rescue him. Um, but along the way, you also unfortunately discover that the Russians have already captured some, some of the V-2 rockets. So you've got your work cut out. The V-2 rockets were a, a real technological breakthrough in the, uh, in the Second World War, and the fear was that uh, if uh, Hitler or indeed the Russians got their hands on working V-2 rockets, then they could really turn the tide of the war and the way it was going, uh, and they were capable of um, distributing nerve agents as well as all sorts of other nasty explosives. In Sniper Elite V2, we've got uh, extensive uh, cooperative play for uh, two players over the internet. Uh, you can play the entire campaign, all the campaign missions in cooperative modes. Uh, and you can also, uh, we've got three other modes in addition. We've got an Overwatch mode in which one of you is the sniper and the other is a, a spotter. Uh, so you, one of you is having to cover the other as they go about their mission on the ground. Uh, uh, we've got Kill Tally, which is kind of like a, a horde mode where you're having to survive for as long as you can, a pair of snipers against oncoming uh, waves of enemies. And we've got Bombing Run, in which you have to pick up various bits of equipment from around the map to repair your escape vehicle, uh, which forces you into a little bit more close quarters combat than uh, in the rest of the game. And it's, uh, it's a, definitely a fun mission to take out in cooperative mode. You may wonder who would want to play as the spotter, but uh, it really delivers a really kind of fun cooperative experience. Um, it really sort of makes you rely on your teammate, and uh, there is something really satisfying about like using your binoculars to uh, mark your target, and then for your uh, companion to like to fire that shot from somewhere else in the level, and you see, see that target just taken down. It's actually a lot more empowering uh, than you might think. In the Overwatch map we saw today, we had the sniper who's in an upper story building overlooking a square which the spotter has to make his way around. Now the spotter is equipped with uh, machine gun and grenades but the, uh, the binoculars to mark out his targets for the, um, for the sniper to be able to take out as well. Uh, and he, he is very reliant on the sniper to cover his tracks and keep him alive. We mix it up as you go, so you'll get uh, trucks coming in, delivering more enemy Nazis to deal with, um, and you can take them out like one by one. Or you could take out the entire vehicle itself, like in one go, and if that explodes and the guys are nearby, then they'll, they'll be taken out too. In an Overwatch mission, there's all sorts of cool stuff that can happen. One of my favorite moments is uh, when the, uh, the sniper actually takes out the, uh, the grenade on an enemy's belt and he can go flying through the air. And if you're lucky, take out other enemies at the same time. There's something uh, you know, really kind of empowering about uh, being able to take out a machine gunner who's really threatening the spotter on the ground. I think my favorite thing in Sniper Elite is the, uh, the fact that it's different to a regular run and gun kind of game. You have to take your time, you have to observe and then plan what you're going to do before you engage the enemy. And there's something really satisfying about, you know, executing on that plan rather than just sort of running in and shooting down the bad guys as they pop out from behind cover as you do in a lot of other games. It makes it feel that much more authentic and it makes every shot you take that much more meaningful. There's quite a variety throughout the single player missions. Uh, yeah, they all have a, an element of sandbox play to them, but it's kind of a linear sandbox. You know, there's a beginning to the mission, you, there's an end to the mission. But within that, you, uh, you have quite a lot of choice about how you're going to go about it. Um, in some, you have to find a particular vantage point, and that's really crucial to the mission. But how you get there and how you proceed once you've taken out your target and how you escape from the area if you have to exfiltrate, all of that is entirely up to the player, and it's up to them and their wits to um, you know, decide how to play.
Sniper Elite V2 is coming out in early May on 360, PS3 and PC.